Release the Kraken. Welcome back, fellow game designers. We're on Hitman Dub Studios. And here we are with our uh, Minecraft clone. And here's our Minecraft character. Wonderful song, uh, not Steve. I'm going to update my textures here. There we go. Um, here he is in all his glory with his jacket and his pants and his shirt. He looks all fancy. Happy to be uh, be working. Okay. Uh, in this one, we're going to go ahead and set up the skeleton, which we're going to need for our character. So let's go ahead and change our modeling workstation to rigging. And we'll go to the rigging shelf here. Let's go to my front view. Here we are in our wonderful front view. And we're going to go ahead and grab the skeleton joint tool right here. It's the one next to this little flowery star, but between the one with the rubber band. So this is for making IK handles. This is for making locations. This one is for making a joint hierarchy. So go ahead and grab that. It's called the Create Joint Tool. First joint to make is going to be down here in the bottom. And you can see it's kind of small. Let's go to our um, tool settings here. It's the one with the hammer. Let's change the short bone length to, um, I will leave that at one. Let's go to short bone radius. We'll change that to two. And then long bone radius, we'll set that to two as well. Uh, that's a little better. Okay. Let's go ahead and delete both of those. And I'll add a new one in. Let's go to our channel box. And we will set this to zero, zero, zero in the translation. This first joint that we just set, this is our root joint. Let's go ahead and name it. We call it root. Now, all of your characters should have a root joint. If you don't make one, Unreal gives you one. But if Unreal gives it to you, you have no control over it. So it's a good practice just to just add one in from the beginning. So there's ours. And now the next one's going to be uh, right here around where the pelvis is going to be. So hold down the Shift key and then click. That'll give you a straight line. Let's press 4 so we can see our joints. And then our torso isn't actually going to bend any, so I don't need any spine joints. So I'm just going to leave this one here. I'm just going to go up to the chest. It's going to go up to right about there. Hold shift and click. It's going to give us a joint there. Let's go about to where the um, base of the head is between the neck and the head. We don't really have a neck, so I'm going to go just above into the head. Shift and click. And then I'm going to go to the end of the head. Hold shift and click. And hit enter. Okay, so that's our body. Let's go ahead and name these. So root, and then this is going to be pelvis. Normally you'd have spine joints, so spine one, two, three, four. We don't really have that, so I'm going to do this one as the chest joint. And then I'll do this one as the head. Or you can call it neck if you want. It's low enough to where the neck would be. And then this one could, this one could be head. So, yeah, let's do it as neck. And then head. Okay. Now what I want to do is uh, just make sure our joints are centered. So I'm going to come down here. We know this one's in the center, 0, 0, 0. But if you zoom in, you can see that these are kind of off center. So I'm going to grab this uh, pelvis joint. And I'm going to go ahead and hold X and then snap it to there. So that should be good in center on that. Let's go up to the next one. Hold X, drag the arrow, snap to the grid line. If you don't do this, you're going to have problems later. So you need to make sure that your spine joints and the, the joints in the middle of the body are going to be centered. Okay, so we're good there. Let's go ahead and grab our joint making tool again. Go ahead and make the leg. So I'm going to start in the middle of the leg, and click, and hold down shift, and then I'm going to click near the bottom. Hit enter. We don't have any knee joints, so we don't need to do anything special for there. It's going to move this over so it's more center on the leg. Okay. 
go ahead and name this one. This is going to be the left hip. So I'm going to do L underscore hip. Or you can do hip underscore left, whichever makes sense for your brain. I find that in the joint hierarchy here, it's easier to pick them out uh, this way than to have them um, this way. That one's good. We're not going to do this leg. Let's go up to the, the other arm here. This is going to be our left arm. Grab our joint tool. Same kind of deal. I'm going to go ahead and click about where the middle is. I'm going to hold down shift and then click near the end of the hand. And I do want this to be kind of in the arm a little bit. So that's good. I'll move this one back some. This one's going to be the left shoulder, so L underscore shoulder. And this is going to be the left hand, so L underscore hand. Cool. So now we have this one, and we got that one. And we went ahead and made sure our joints were straight in the middle. Let's go ahead and save real quick. Now the reason we went ahead and made sure our joints were straight in the middle is so that when we mirror these, we're going to get an even result. So first things first, let's go ahead and parent this to the uh, body. Now, parenting is not all that scary. If you look at your joints, they're already parented. This one has an arrow. If you look at this joint, the way it works, the bone is kind of like an arrow. It points down to the joint. Okay, so this is the parent. Whenever I select it, I also get the child. Whenever I select the child, I do not select the parent, right? So this is the parent, that's the child. This one is the parent of this one. This one is the parent of that one. These are all grandchildren of this one, right? So I'm going to grab the hip. I'm going to hold shift and then click on the uh, pelvis joint like so. And I'm going to create a parent uh, connection between these. So what I did is I selected the child first, and then I selected the one to be the parent. And all I have to do is press P. P as in pottery. There we go. And now it creates a new bone in between. The same thing for this with the uh, chest joint. So hold shift, select the chest joint, press P. Good enough. Now it's a matter of mirroring across. Let's go up to Skeleton. If you don't see the Skeleton tab, make sure you're in Rigging. Come down to Mirror Joints, grab the Options box. Since our character is facing the Z-axis, we want to be in the YZ plane. That means that Y and Z are in this line. And then we want to search for L underscore, which is the left, and we're going to replace it with R underscore, which will be on the right and hit. Um, also, you have an option for orientation and behavior. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on behavior and hit apply. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the leg, or the hip joint, and then hit apply as well. You can go ahead and close this now. So now we should have our joints uh, inside the body. To see them, I'm going to go ahead and go to shading and do x-ray joints. There we go. They should be good and centered in the body. Now it's a matter of attaching the body parts to each of the joints. So this is going to be pretty simple. Um, I'm going to go up to Skin, come down to Bind Skin, and then hit the Option box. We want this to be set up as a Bind to. We want Selected Joint. The binding method, we're going to choose closest and distance. And then the max influences, we're going to set to 1. And the reason for that is our character can't really bend. So we're going to make it so that whenever he does try to bend, we're only going to bend him at a specific location. And we only want the skin to talk to the joint that is, in the, that is the main controller. So in this case, the parent of the wrist or the hand is going to be the shoulder. So the shoulder is the one that's going to do all the turning. The neck joint is the one that's going to turn the head, right? The uh, pelvis joint is the one that's going to turn the torso. The hip joints are the ones that's going to turn the legs. So I only need to worry about one. 
through the head first, I'm going to grab the neck joint, shift, select the head, and then come down, again, check your settings, so select the joints, closest and distance. Uh, these are fine, classic linear, interactive, and distance is fine. And then max influence should be one. And we'll hit apply. So now the head, if I were to select this, you can see the joint has changed color. And the neck joint, if I grab it, I can rotate the head. Cool. Next thing up will be the arm with the appropriate piece of skin. And then rinse and repeat. Next and next. Pelvis to the body. Leg to leg. Leg to leg. Now that we have all those, let's go ahead and test it. Make sure that the joints move the correct body parts. Our chest joint should have no influence uh, over the torso. Moving it will bend the body. Okay. And then doing the head joint does the head. Arm joints do the arms. Yeah. So that seems like it's all working. Okay, so that takes care of binding our joints to Steve. They're all named and it's ready to go. Uh, one thing we didn't do is clear history. It looks like we're pretty good on most of our body parts. Go ahead and grab the head through uh, the leg. So select the head, hold down shift and click the leg. Should have everything. I'm gonna go up to uh, edit, delete by type. We want to get rid of the non-deformer history. If you choose regular history, you're going to remove your skin weights, uh, which is what's controlling uh, whenever you want to move a piece of skin. So make sure you do non-deformer, and that'll get rid of anything extra that we uh, didn't get to remove already. So that should be it. So you should only see skin cluster in tweak one. If you see anything other than those, um, you got too much stuff. This is fine on the bind pose. That's okay. Okay, we're good there. Go ahead and save it. And then in the next one, we're going to head and export this, get it into Unreal. And I shall see you then. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel. Misty and I both thank you. If you've enjoyed that video you just watched, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, I do have official merch and a Patreon uh, somewhere uh, in the link down below. Also, keep your eye out for the devlogs for Blockout and Rocket Flip. Those are two games that are coming out for Lame Duck Studios, officially released and all that good stuff. And if you guys want to see how those are uh, being put together and the process that I'll be going through, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, you'll be seeing those coming up uh, here soon. And don't forget that I create new content on Sundays and I release content on Wednesdays. So stay tuned, and I shall see you next time.